Hello, my name is Claire Walsh. I'm a research scientist from University College London, working between UCL and the ESRF. I'm honoured today to be awarded the ESRF Young Scientist of the Year by the user organisation. So my research focuses on the HIP-CT technique, hierarchical phrase contrast tomography. And this was a technique that was really developed in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The idea of the technique is that it allows you to take a whole human organ, for example a lung, and to image the intact organ and then to zoom in anywhere within that organ down to cellular level detail to understand what's happening to that organ in three dimensions. My role in the team is as a bioimage analyst, so that means I'm trying to take the amazing images that we get from the synchrotron and I'm trying to provide a quantitative analysis pipeline to answer questions that the biologists and medics pose to us. So there's a lot of different impacts to this work. One of the important ones is to the clinical imaging. One of the things that we're aiming to do as we develop the technique more is to link our hip CT images with incredibly high resolution to clinical images, so like CT scans or MRIs. And what we'll be able to do by linking through artificial intelligence algorithms is to be able to validate ambiguous clinical findings and potentially find new imaging biomarkers that could be used in a clinical setting. So in addition, uh, it's also an incredibly powerful tool for just understanding basic human anatomy. Uh, never before have we got images of organs across these spatial scales in three dimensions. And so as a tool for just understanding basic human physiology and what happens to that physiology when it gets diseased, HIPCT is unparalleled. Without the EBS, this technique would not be possible. The increased spatial coherence that the EBS provides allows us to resolve really faint density contrast differences within an intact human organ, which is something that has never been possible before. Looking to the future, we have the new beamline BM18 will enable us to perform hip CT faster on more organs and with better resolution. So it's a really bright future for this technique with the EBS at ESRF. <laughs>